Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I'm working with Microsoft as Senior Software Engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can copy the files from one source to different source. In this case, both source is Gen2 Lakes. But we are going to copy based on last modified date. Hence, we are going to copy only incremental whatever file got changed or new came between the two runs. So that is what we are going to do in this demo. Let's go to our Azure subscription and resource group and start the demo. So for this demo, we are in our Azure subscription and resource group and we have already created data factory and storage account required for this demo and we have created multiple time in previous videos that is why i wanted to save some time so let's go ahead inside our source lake and i will create one container called source files and where these files will come and if suppose we want to upload any file then it will come as a last modified date and based on that one we will copy to this destination lake so this is the destination lake okay, let's put the name destination files as a container so the scenario is that that file will come into this uh, source lake with source files and based on time stamp we will copy only that uh, file which is latest modified and latest uploaded so now as we have all source and destination container created, let's go to ADF and in ADF, we are going to use copy data tool to generate pipelines. So let's create an ingest button on the home page and let's go and use, this is the copy data tool, which will help us to generate the pipeline and we will use co built-in copy task and tumbling trigger so tumbling trigger will give some additional function which will require to copy based on last modified date time let's use recurrence as a every 15 minute and then or let's do as a every five minute because we wanted to capture that one so let's go and do and source we know that both source and destination we have into gen2 so let's create the connection string and let's put the source connection string source lake and let's go with account key and in the subscription we can select that this is the source lake software lake and let's test the connection now we have to provide the path so let's go and select the path we can select our container root folder and in, now in option if we see what is the uh, file loading behavior load all files or load based on last modified or time partition file folder so let's select that last modified date and we will do the binary copy so we are going to read as a binary we are not going to ins inside this one because we do not care about a schema definition and other things so we will copy the binary one and we will not use any comparison type right now so we will use that one and we will go next and because it is that uh, um, we have selected binary copy some of the option will go away when we see in different type of uh, selection if we did if we go ahead and if you remove this one and if you go that next then it will give that option to detect what file format are there what is the column delimiter and others in there but we are just going to copy the file we are not going inside that one and that is why uh, we need this binary copy and let's go next and let's select the destination destination we have gen2 only but destination is different lake so let's create a new connection and we can say the destination connection destination lake and this is our destination lake let test connection and this we want to do based on where so let's go and in destination file we want to do right and 
and file name will be keep as it is whatever was there so that there is no change on that one let's go ahead and click on the next now let's put the name copy pipeline the pipeline paste must modify okay and let's go in next and this is that how the pipeline and other things will look like so let's it is validating all the things whatever we have given now it is creating the required data set it is creating the pipeline it is triggering uh, creating the pipeline and then starting the trigger all it is done so now let's finish this one and if we go inside our pipeline tab one pipeline has created and whatever name we have given inside copy data activity and if we go into source section whatever we have created the source if you notice this one this is coming where pipeline parameter window start and pipeline parameter window end is coming and if we go into the source data set we know that this is our source leg connection string we created there is nothing new in the sync if we go we know that this is the, our sync leg we have created and major this is that um, thing which is being used filter by last modified date and wild card is star and if you see how it is coming so if we go inside our pipeline parameter so two pipeline parameter is defined which is window start and window end and if we go inside our trigger which is defined for this one you will see this this is tumbling trigger and tumbling trigger gives gives that additional parameter two parameter if you go and if you try to do so it gives additional parameter it will pass additional parameter and it will pass like that one into parameter that trigger output dot in window start time in win window win time so if we go and see the details of window start time and window um, window and window start and windows in system variable that gives that when last time the uh, pipeline was ran and in between time so it gives that all the details so if we go into now it so we have given in five minutes right every five minutes so it will run into five minutes if we go and see let's wait now it is run one time so if we see that one the value what value was given inside this parameter so let's see that one the modified date was the at 9 15 og and that was time the utc time and 9 20 but if you see this one it ran into let me see the detail so if we go into monitor tab and if we say what was the time so if we can put the time and i want to put utc so that uh, we can match the time utc right so if we go and see that th that uh, time was 10 50 pm it was triggered and if we see parameter it was 9 15 to 20 21 hour is adjusted for our i think one hour is registered for utc is 22 this one is taking then so it was 9 20 pm started and 9 20 pm finished but if you see parameter 9 15 to 9 20 before one now it will when next time it will run it will take 9 20 to 9 25 so right now if you see uh, and go back to our there is no file inside our source and there is no file inside destination let's go back and in that soap surface data lake in source file let's upload some data some files over there so let's go ahead and upload one file quickly let's upload this file and we will see that So now one file is uploaded in there is not nothing into destination let's go into source and see one file is there now when next time it is going to run it is going to push one file over there and we will see and then in next time we will upload one more file and see that only one file is being copied so if we go inside this one this activity and if we see right now there is no file written so let's let's check the next time how it, it is happening So now second is also succeeded 
and if you see the time window here in 9 25 pm but if you see parameter it was given 9 20 to 9 25 so fi whatever file came between this 9 20 to 9 25 should be copied and if we go inside the details we see that one file has been written right and if you see the timestamp of this file and timestamp in utc only once again in different time so this is this was in 124 and if you go inside that one there is one more file copied at 125 that same time which we did right so now let's go back and upload one more file and this time i'm hoping that it will not copy twice and that we can validate on the timestamp so let me upload one file here and let me upload two files not only one file two files so that we can see that it is doing two files so now we have uploaded two files and if we see that in source we have two files now and in destination right now we have only one file so next run will copy two files from this one so let's see that one now it is running again and we see that this is in progress and it, this is completed now and if you see this time window is 9.25 to 9.30 and if we go inside this detail and if you see two files has been picked and two file has been done and if we go into this one so right now if you notice that one 1.25 uh, 17 am was there let me rephrase that one so it did not override anything it copied two new files so that is what i wanted to display in this demo that how we can copy only new file so this is how that incremental data load happens based on last modified date thank you